Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul, and tonight uh, we're going to be doing a real quick run through the Anomaly mission. Uh, I know a lot of you are doing the expedition right now, and uh, obviously we kind of want to keep an eye on the Anomaly missions, because, hey, you know, we get to the 1800 Quicksilver, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and do so. So let's go ahead and get started here. As soon as I finally finish loading up, that is. <laughs> uh, got my... My new gun that I've been using now with so much damage, it pretty much can take out a freighter if I don't, if I'm not very careful. And uh, we're going to get a couple other things in the anomaly while we're here. Um, I guess we just ought to head towards our ship. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. And here we go. Which ship should I take today? Eh. I don't know. Living ship, I'm just not always... I, I mean, they're cool looking, don't get me wrong, but I've just never been keen about them. Uh, let's see. How about our little sporty guy right here? Art of Fire. I haven't taken that up, this one out in a while. There we go. Let's go ahead and head out. Alright. I'm going to pull in the Anomaly. Which has got... Planetary interference. There we go. Oh, wow. He parked his uh, nose of his ship inside the anomaly. Wonderful. All right. And as we head in. So again, I'm Alon Paul, and I want to thank you all for watching this video right now. So as we do this anomaly mission, uh, we're going to uh, kind of go through it pretty quick here because it is a late Friday night, and we've got some things that we need to get done. Why does it always park me at the furthest space? I don't get it. I swear I must have upset Sean. Sean Murray just doesn't like me. That must be what it is. I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Let's see what the anomaly mission is first. Then we're going to take a look at the Quicksilver vendor in just another moment. The spine of history. We're going to unearth ancient bones. Give us some fireworks, but we're also going to get 300 nanite, 348 nanites, and the 1800 Quicksilver. Start the mission. In case some of you are wondering, by the way... And you've been doing the anomaly mission, uh, pardon me, the expedition. You can get your expedition rewards right here. Okay? So you can get your construct head, which I've already got. The hands, the chest, the feet, the legs. You can get all your decals. You get the Wayfarer's Helm. You get all the posters. Let's go ahead and grab them all. Why not? Including an Atlas poster and anything else you want to get while you're here at the anomaly. Which I'm going to hold off getting because we need to start our mission. So let's go ahead and get going here. I have no idea why I did that. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've ever upgraded this ship. <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and switch her out real quick to our Raptor. I always like this ship better anyway. There's just something about the Raptor. Gives you chills. And on we go. So, as usual, as you leave the anomaly, it takes you into the system that it wants you to do this mission at, where everything is all set up by Hello Games to get it all taken care of. And as we come in, well, those two planets are pretty close by each other. Interesting. So there's our space station, but you know what? We're not really actually going there. So pay attention to your screen and look for that little icon to appear. Looks like we're going to one of those two places. A bone-rich planet, it says. On our way. So if you want to, we can scan the planet. I don't know why it would be undiscovered, because my guess is no one has done the anomaly mission today. Which is incredible. No one's done the anomaly mission today. Why? Because you're all doing the expedition, or watching other people do the expedition. Come on, people, get that anomaly done. It takes like 10-15 minutes. Might as well get it out of the way. So we're at the target planet. All we need to do is land. So let's take a quick peek, make sure there's not any free landing spaces for me. I don't see any. Lots of comm units, so I'm guessing some people are doing it. How could no one have discovered this place? Alright, so we're going to park up here. This looks like a good enough place. Let's make sure our... Our gravity well is charged all the way. Excellent, it is. And let's go ahead and exit. Take a look. 
Looks like we got some bones out this way. There they are. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. Now, I want to get there pretty quick. So you know what I'm going to do? We're going to pull out a pet. Hey, buddy. Give me a ride. All right. So, I'm going to take this guy out this way. There's no water on this planet, so we don't have to worry about anything like that. And it looks like we're going kind of slow until we hit the run button. And look how fast we're flying across this landscape, man. If you can get your hands on one of these bugs, I'm telling you, man, they're awesome. Just make them a little bit bigger, and you're in good shape. And you just, you know, basically take their egg, and you can gestate them and get a larger egg. Now, what do you know? I could have landed there. And when you get close... Exit. Okay. Terrain manipulator, my friends. And it looks like we got our first bone. Now, it looks like it's going to tell us we need, what, 12 of them, I think? And we got a really old one here, so this is going to be worth our time. Alright, take another look. Another bone over there. I didn't try to do that. I was trying to do that. And highlight your guy. And guess what? Give me another ride, my friend. Off we go. Those floating plants, they give you sometimes of different types of items. Sometimes chlorine, and sometimes ammonia, and things like that. Uh, since those items, if you need them for charging purposes for certain things in your inventory, that's great. But otherwise, they're really not worth the time to get. Ah, looks like we've got attack animals here, so we've got to keep our eye open on that. We'll have to be careful. Okay. Down we go. Looks like we have two bones here. One, two. And a nice rare item, a rare item as well. Looks like we got another one over here. This is a pretty good planet. So far, so good. We're doing well. Alright, up we go. Where's our guy? There he is. Hey, buddy. Let's keep going, shall we? Now, I could have pulled in an exocraft, but I'm telling you, these guys are just so much fun. And plus, you're flying over the landscape, so you're really kind of seeing everything from the bird's eye view, so to speak. And you don't really, if you think about your exocraft, except for the uh, minotaur, which you can jump long distances, this is the only thing you can get that can fly across the landscape. There are a couple other pets you can get that way, but none of the exocraft actually fly, if you will. All right, there we go. Looks like a little ankle breaking to go on. Looks like we got a couple bones here as well. One and two. So what are we up to? We're up to five now. Too far, it says, or so it says. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's bring in our ship, and we're going to go to a new place. Okay, and your pet will disappear temporarily while you go elsewhere. So let's just go someplace else, get further away, and we'll drop back down. And you'll have to do this a couple times, most likely. All right, this looks all right. Let's go ahead and just bring it in here to this slope. Take out a few trees, and it will put us on top of a tree. That's fabulous. So, first things first, let's take a look. Wow. Okay, we got bones everywhere here. There's one literally right there, 200 blocks away. I don't think we're going to need our buddy. And in case you're wondering about the, the jet trail coming out of my backpack, that is the dissident trail from the expedition. Okay, you got a bone. Looks like we got more up there. Let's go ahead and grab them. And again, apparently there's attack animals on this planet. I obviously haven't given them any thought. Or ran into them yet long enough to actually even see them. So just keep your eyes peeled. Because I got a funny feeling they're going to cause you some grief. Especially if you're a newer player and you don't have the weapons and stuff in order to take care of it. Oh, it looks like we got one now. Okay, so we went far enough away that they're not going to bother us. Oh, look at that. 
That's going to worth some money, man. Let me just show you that real quick. In our inventory? That one right there. A million credits for that one by itself. And looks like we got a whole bunch over here. And it looks like there's more over there, so we should be in good shape. We need four more and then we're done. How far away is that one? Ah, eh, we'll just Tom and Jerry it. We're good. Oh, yeah. Bad place to be doing that, right over a, a nice cavern underneath us, right? Brilliant. First thing I last thing I need is me to break my ankles while I'm doing this. Uh, did I pass the site? No. There it is. There we go. Okay. There we go. Anybody else? Anybody else? No? Okay, that's what I thought. Ah, you know, come on. There we go. Let's get this next one. Getting a lot of these rare items here. Got two more to go. Maybe we'll get two more at the last site. If you're fortunate enough, you might find four or five at the same site. But for the most part, it's going to be one here, two there. There we go. All righty. And here we go. Looks like we got two here. So what I'm going to do, preemptively, all in my ship. One, and we're done. So now we have to, if you pay attention at the bottom right, it tells you you have to scan. Okay. Now sometimes when you do that, it pulls in sentinels, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So now that we've gone ahead and done that, it looks like the location is over here. There we go. All right, let's bring it in. Right here, and it's not a approximate location. Oh, I love the lighting to the side like that. That's pretty cool. But as we land, we may bring in some sentinels. We'll see what happens. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see what happens. Grunts hello. They neither question who sent me nor offer an explanation for why they are out here alone. They do, however, seem to understand the nature of what I have brought them. Show them the samples. Guard, don't ask me to pronounce that. Quick quietly runs a device across several of the samples, handling the remains with a profound respect. They return the bones and transmit the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. And we're done. We just need to head back. Okay, nobody attacking me? All right, good. And that means we're on our way. So all we have to do is go back to the anomaly. There we go. Pull that sucker in here. There we go. And we'll turn in everything we've got. Now, you can then... Basically, all you do is you turn in the mission, you get to keep the bones. So now, if you're a little hard up for money, you now have some extra cash. You can turn them in at any space station. My suggestion would be to turn it into any of the NPC pilots. That way you don't crash the economy in the system. Hey, put me in a little bit of a closer spot for once. Off we go. And this will turn it in. There we go. And complete the mission. We get our 1800 Quicksilver. 
and we're done. Now, in case you're all wondering, let's take one quick peek. This is uh, just about 15 minutes. We'll take one quick peek at our new do. Our appearance modifier. So we're going to stick with what we've got, but we're going to start changing the head. I mean, everybody, I've always liked this, ladies and gentlemen, but we're going to bring in the Atlanted head. I am after the next one. We can do the Wayfarer's Helm if we want. You know, that actually looks pretty dang cool. Because I frankly think that this looks like... I don't know. I don't particularly care for it. You know what? I'm liking that. It's got a certain almost, dare I say, godlike, small g, appearance to it. That is incredible. But we can change the torso now to the construct chest. I'm going to skip the armor for now. The gloves. The legs. The boots. All construct. And we're going to change the backpack. I, I do like this backpack, don't get me wrong. But... We're going to do... This one. No, wait, wait, where is it? That one. I'm going to change the coloring a little bit. Because it doesn't quite match the construct. So I like the blue. Let's go back to the head. The head looks good. Or so. Looking pretty good. I like the kind of accents it's got going on and everything like that. Although I might switch things around. Can we go blue? How about we switch it from yellow to this blue? How about everybody blue? That actually looks a little better. Okay. Gloves. We'll leave them at the, as they are. Legs. There we go. And the boots. Backpack looks pretty good the way it is. The head looks really interesting, and I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that one right now. I'm going to keep that for now. I'm going to see how this does. That actually looks really wild. So I think we've got the new look for Lon Paul for now. Until we can complete the second run of my expedition, this is going to be what we're going to be looking like for now. I kind of like it. I always love the color blue. I like the yellows and golds and stuff like that. I love the capes, but I do not like the latest and greatest in regards to its movement. It looks like it's flapping in so hard to a breeze that doesn't exist. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, hit that like, and subscribe. Thank you very much.